In other news, after nearly a year-long freeze of diplomatic contact between China and Australia, China seems to be now easing ties with Australia. Beijing has sent a congratulatory message to the newly elected Prime Minister Anthony Albanese in what can be viewed as a significant change on China's part to re-establish dialogue between the two sides. Beijing on Monday congratulated Australia's newly elected Prime Minister following his win in the country's general election. The Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Wang Wenbin during the press briefing said that Beijing is willing to work with the Albanese government to promote a healthy development of strategic partnership between the two sides. We have noticed Meanwhile, during his first press conference as Australia's Prime Minister, Albanese said that the relationship with Beijing would remain a difficult one. We will act in recognition that climate change is the main economic and security challenge for the island countries of the Pacific. Under my government, Australia will set a new target to reduce emissions by 43 per cent by 2030, putting us on track for net zero by 2050. Ties between Australia and China soured further last year after Beijing suspended trade channels with Canberra following clashes over issues including human rights, the origins of the pandemic, as well as tensions in the Indo-Pacific. This after Canberra called for an independent probe into the origins of the pandemic and also banned telecom giant Huawei from building a 5G network in Australia. China, in a retaliatory measure, imposed tariffs on a number of key industries, including wine and barley. Meanwhile, the AUKUS, the defense agreement between Australia, the UK and the US, also triggered fresh diplomatic cracks between the two sides and their ties. Tensions further aggravated after China signed a security pact with the Solomon Islands last month, the pact which was finalized despite warnings from the United States. It allows Beijing to deploy armed military personnel to the small nation situated northeast of Australia. The signing of the pact escalated conflict between both the countries and was highly criticized by the former Morrison government. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.